Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I hope you're doing so, so well today. Today, you guys, we are going to be making sausage and garlic mashed potato stuffed portobello mushroom caps with a side of roasted peppers. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I am so freaking stoked to make this you guys. So let's get started. I've got my burner right here It is off this whole time. I thought it was on Whoops time trying to find um, An idea or come up with an idea for this dish I couldn't think of anything and it was driving me nuts and I, so I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to the store and try to draw inspiration from there and I was in the store for like 30 minutes walking around not knowing like like what am I gonna do and something said go check out the portobello mushroom caps which I'm gonna show you later and from there the rest was history I was like this is what I'm gonna make it sounds amazingly delicious so for the sausage today you guys I'm using two links of the Beyond Meat sausage this is the original I wanted the spicy but they were out, so that's okay. So that's what it is right here. That's what it, this is what it looks like right here. I just chopped it up. We're gonna start with some onion that we're gonna saute up in the pan. So I'm gonna saute these up real quick. Now we are going to add some garlic to the pan. Turn down the heat so I don't burn it. This thing gets super hot. So we're gonna saute up this garlic. And now let's add the sausage. Um, usually I don't, um, these have like a casing around them that's edible and usually I eat it, but I took it off this time so I could really, really chop up the sausages in here and get it really nice and cooked down. The next thing we're going to do is make these peppers. I love these peppers and I grab a bag almost every time I go to the store. They're so delicious when they're roasted. They're like these little mini, like, bell peppers right so i put them i'm putting them in this bowl and in this bowl is salt pepper basil and oregano some like italian style seasonings and we're gonna put some in here maybe like half the bag all right and i also put in some olive oil in there and then we're gonna just toss them around and get them all coated in the oil and the spices and then we're gonna put them in the oven Put them in the oven at like 400 degrees on uh, the top shelf so if I need to I could put on the broiler and I want to get them really really hot and blistery so I'm gonna go put these in the oven I'll be right back so here I have two large portobello caps that have been marinating in my special marinade if you want to know how I marinate my mushrooms go to this video right here and go to the very end and I show you what I use to marinate my mushrooms with spoiler alert I use a balsamic vinegar oh my god so good so mm, look at all that yummy stuff right in there yum so these mushrooms were freaking huge you guys when i saw them i was like oh my god i gotta have them here y'all i whipped up some mashed potatoes i put um earth balance vegan butter in my mashed potatoes salt pepper garlic powder onion powder um i put a little bit of dill in there and um a scoop of mayonnaise just mayo it's the best so we're just gonna put some mushrooms on there or some potatoes on there like that i love mushrooms and potatoes like mushroom gravy and potatoes oh my god so good so we're just gonna scoop these potatoes in there and make like a little crevice right here in the middle <laughs> yum okay let's scoop in the sausage that we just cooked Yum, yum, yum. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so delicious. These mushrooms were huge. I took some footage of them and I bought just a regular size mushroom and put it up against the, these mushrooms so you guys could see how big these mushrooms really are. Okay, how's that look, you guys? Yum. And now we are going to be adding my favorite vegan cheese of all time. The follow your heart parmesan style shreds yum me Just sprinkle that right on top oh, oh my goodness oh my goodness 
Does that not look amazing, you guys? We're actually gonna put this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go get these in the oven. Um, 400 degrees is what my oven is at right now, so I'm gonna put them in there at 400 degrees and see what happens for 15 minutes to start. Okay, I'll be right back. Guys, yum, look. They're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Follow Your Heart Parmesan cheese on top because it's just too good not to. And let's dig in. The peppers are like burnt. Oh, yum. You see that right there? You see that right there? I love that. Oh my God, so good. Okay, so let's see. Let's, um, where should we start to dig in? <laughs> Let me cut from the front here. How about that? There we go. Let me get some sausage on there. It's still really, really hot. Yep. Yum. Yum. Yum, yum. Yum. Okay, so good. And then I like to take a bite. Mm hmm. That's so good. Mmm. These peppers are so delicious. And when you roast them, it really brings out a nice sweetness to them. and meaty mm -hmm. you guys I'm sorry I'm like all sniffly and stuffy sorry <laughs> I did it again um I've been fine all day all day long I've been totally fine and then all of a sudden out of nowhere I start to get really stuffy and sniffly and my eyes are watery from allergies. Ugh, so annoying. There's a storm coming in, so I think that's what is going on. Mm. Yummy. drink i got this at wheatsville today this is field day which i think is the wheatsville like store brand field day berry flavored sparkling water yum 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 it is so hot in here my ac just turned off i think my apartment like isn't very well insulated or something because as soon as the air turns off in the summer it gets really, really hot really quickly. So, I don't know. Mm. That just made me remember something. I remember um, when we were moving from Hawaii to back to, we moved to New Mexico. Um, my mom was going to go back to school in Mexico to get her master's in New Mexico, not Mexico. And um, I remember, like, because my brother and I, we lived out in Hawaii with my mom and my stepdad. And we um, moved all of our stuff. And we also brought our cars back to the mainland from the islands. And I remember it was in the middle of the summer. So hot. My brother had this um, Ford truck, this green Ford truck. I can't remember if like at the time it was kind of old. I can't really remember. But I remember it had rust stains on it. All the cars in Hawaii had rust stains on them. Because of the salt water, you know? Salt in the air, not salt water. From the ocean. So... We were driving back 
in the middle of summer and I remember my brother's air conditioner broke in his car and I felt so bad for him that and it, it broke down guess where in Arizona <laughs> is where it broke and we were like you know what do we do do we get it fixed and my brother was just like no let's just keep going let's get to New Mexico we'll be fine we, oh wait no we were actually coming to Texas because I have family here we were coming we were passing through New Mexico coming to Texas and then going back to New Mexico for a while so I remember I felt so bad for my brother that I was like I want to ride with you brother <laughs> my brother Dave he has a channel I'll, it's linked down below breezy acres um but I was like I feel so bad that I want to like hang out with my brother <laughs> And I remember driving through Arizona with the windows down on the highway and the blistering heat. Oh my God. Whoa. It was hot as hell. <laughs> and I remember going to the gas station and getting a soda. He's like, get me a Coke. So I go in and I get myself a Sprite because I always drink Sprite when I was younger and I get him a Diet Coke because like growing up my mom is um, diabetic, juvenile diabetes, type 1, I should know this, oh my god, um, and so my whole life, her whole life, she's always drank like Diet Soda because she can't have the sugar. So I grew up drinking Diet Soda. So I go in and I get myself a Sprite and him a Diet Coke. <laughs> and we're driving through and he doesn't realize that I got him a Diet Coke instead of a Coke until we're like on the highway again. And I remember like, like peeling my back up from the back of the seats. And um, what was that? My phone buzz. My phone's somewhere. I don't, even, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I remember peeling our backs up from the back of the seats, and it's like, it's like, it's all sticky and gross. And you look back, and the whole back of the seat is just drenched in sweat. Our shirts were drenched in sweat. Our hair's all sticking everywhere. It's all gross. And I hand him his soda, and he's like oh man diet coke oh, oh man and um but he's like oh it's so hot i just need something to drink and he drinks he opens it up and he takes a swig and he's like blood like spits it out over his steering wheel because he hated it i guess he's like it's so bubbly and gross oh my god i felt so bad <laughs> oh my brother Man, it was sure hot. Mm. I took an allergy pill, I took two. I take two at a time. And then I just take them every couple of hours until I start to feel better because my allergies just like come out of nowhere it's so annoying nowhere i'm so inconsistent mm. See what I'm saying?
Oh, jeez. We're getting bad. Can you tell my eyes are starting to water? Oh, God. Ugh. Stop. It's really about to storm. I wonder if all the wind and stuff is, like, bringing any yucky stuff that I'm allergic to. Ugh. Okay. Let's keep getting. So I'm filming with my uh, camera again. Thank goodness. I got a new mic. And that seems to have fixed the audio issues. So maybe my other one is shot. And hopefully this audio works. Oh my god, it'd be so sad if it didn't. Mm. You know it would be so good to like grill these up as steaks and then put onion gravy on it. Mmm. Doesn't that sound good? Say hi, Sally. Say hi. Say hi. Do you guys let your cats up on the table? I do. Call me gross. Sally, you don't want any of this. She doesn't like any of my food, obviously. She's a cat. But she loves um, vegan mayo. She loves vegan mayo. Oh, my goodness. She's obsessed with it. Anytime it's like on the counter or on a spoon or something, she always finds it. <laughs> Looks it. Huh, Sally. You like just mayo too. You guys, I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys. And also I've been having the same experience and it's maddening. Like, it's driving me crazy because I'm sad about it. I haven't been able to find Just Mayo in a lot of the Walmarts that I've been going to. And I live pretty far away from the one that I used to get my Just Mayo from. It was on the bottom shelf. $3.48. But I can't find it recently. Have you guys been able to find Just Mayo? I'm not talking about, like, the one that's in the refrigerated section of, like, Central Market or Whole Foods or whatever. I'm talking about the one... That's with the rest of the mayos on the very bottom shelf. And I love that mayo because it doesn't say vegan all over it. It's just there. Discreet. Delicious. Cheap. Can't find it. So upsetting. Oh my god, my head feels like there's a balloon inside of it that's blowing up really slowly and like pressure's building. Ugh, so annoying. Do you guys suffer from allergies? Mm. So cold. I got a lot of positive feedback <laughs> from you guys in my last video. My lipstick's wearing off. Uh, from you guys really liking my colderest cup. <laughs> my super big gulp from the 7-Eleven. So cold. Um, to get yours, head to the nearest 7-Eleven. Keeps your drinks cold almost all day long. I'm stuffed and my head is really starting to hurt and my eyes are itchy and I feel like my fake eyelashes are flying in the wind right now but I can't really tell so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one